though, my lovelies. How are we all? I really hope we are all doing well. Where are we supposed to be today, Mr. Man? No comment. We were supposed to be at a baby group this morning at 10 a.m. But Mr. Alfie Bear here decided he was too tired and that he was going to be grumpy. So we decided not to go because even though the baby group is for me to... Ow! Even though the baby group is for me to meet other mums, it obviously is mainly for Alfie. And if he's not going to be happy, if he's going to be tired, if he's going to be grumpy, there's no point in him going. So when we dropped Charlie to the train station, we decided to put him in the car and we were like, oh yeah, he'll have a lovely sleep. Yeah, he slept for 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Hmm? So he is going to his dad's today. I did text him and said to come for half 11. We shall see what time he gets here. Daddy! 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 You love your daddy, don't you? Do you love your daddy? Right, shall I get this room cleaned up? You lay in your cot and we'll see if we can get you to sleep. Minutes before his dad gets here, he's asleep. You cannot make this up. Like, it's fine, but it's obviously just a shame because his dad wants to spend time with him and as soon as he gets him, he's asleep. When he's been fighting sleep all morning. The only good thing is that he is asleep in the pram. My dog has to lay in the most awkward place when I have to turn this pram around. Okay, it's a little bit later now. It's around quarter to one. I have some fake chicken in the oven. So I had these yesterday and I loved them. Oh my God, they were so good. These plant chef chicken chunks from Tesco. There's so many bloody flies around, it's unbelievable. So I've just edited a YouTube video, which should be going up later. I'm just gonna check on this chicken. Charlie went and bought me these veggie straws from Eat Real. I absolutely love Eat Real. Like my favorite crisps ever and I've never tried the veggie straws. So I'm excited to try those. I'm just gonna have my normal wrap. Yeah, definitely gonna have my normal wrap. They're so, so good. I obviously will not have the whole bag of those. I usually have the avocado and mushroom wrap that I do, but I've got my barbecue chicken one. Oh my God. I haven't had it in ages and it's so, so good. So I'm excited. No? Okay. As far as the wrap goes, I would give it a solid 8.5 out of 10. Really wasn't pulling through, mainly because my family have a habit of not putting my cheese back in the fridge fidge family have a habit of not putting my cheese back in the fridge properly and putting it right at the back and then it freezes and crumbles and it's useless and tasteless so because of the cheese problem the wrap wasn't as good as it normally is it's not a great start as for these bad boys i'd probably give these a solid eight out of ten pretty good to be honest they're not actually what i expected i was expecting them to be like what are those french fries 
those crisps i was expecting them to be like that and they're actually not they're actually really good i'm not the biggest fan of french fries but yeah these are really good also been catching up on some zoella i feel like a lot of people don't watch her anymore but she's just the goat for me like i just love her especially the fact that it's the halloween shopping vlog with mark i just oh it just it fills me up with so much serotonin so i'm gonna finish the rest of this and eat some more of these crisps because let's be honest am i gonna devour half the bag most probably i have about an hour until i need to pump so i'm just gonna chill maybe we'll get up and do something else sort a few bits out but we shall see so the time now is it would really help if my ipad was the right time i want to say it's like two o'clock maybe and it's time for me to do my first pump of the day so when Alfie is at his dad's, I pump usually around three times a day. I set my alarm for every two hours, between two and three hours anyway. And I do this so I can keep up the stash in the freezer for Alfie's dad to feed him when he's away. Oh my God, there are about 50,000 flies in here. Ugh. So this is the pump I use here. It's from a brand called Spectra. Apparently it's like hospital grade. It's so, so good. I do have the mum cozy ones as well, um, but I don't use those ones as much. I just find this one gives more milk. The mum cozy ones are more convenient for like when I'm going out or when I need to do it really quickly. But when I've got the time, I do prefer to use the Spectra one. Also ignore my hair. I slept in a plait last night and it looks awful. <laughs> So I've already got my stuff sterilised here. I just use these microwave bags from Asda. So I just need to put everything together. So there's a massage setting and a like full suction setting. I don't know what you call it. I use the massage setting first and then I use the suction setting afterwards. Just because I find that gives the best milk and I do both sides and then I put it in one of the little breast milk storage bags and then I pop it in the freezer and we defrost it when Alfie's dad needs it. Just gonna get on and do that. Just finished pumping. This is the amount that I got. I don't know whether you can see that. Hold on. This is the amount that I got. Obviously, this is both sides, so around seven and a half, almost eight ounces. We do get more on the first pump that Alfie is away. And then as I pump through the day, it does get less and less. So that's a pretty good one compared to the other ones that I'll get today. I just pop it in these little bags like this, and then I just put that in the freezer. Pretty, really easy. And then I just save it for when Alfie's dad needs it. So now I'm just gonna sterilize the rest of the stuff and set a timer for two hours and do it again. Sorry if you can hear the fan in the background. It is currently 26 degrees and I'm in leggings. It's a little bit later now. I think it's like, I think it's around half four. In the time that I last spoke to you, I have filmed a cherries haul. I have edited a YouTube video and I've also edited my TikTok video to you go up tonight. I actually cannot stop yawning. I don't even know why I'm so tired. I also last night when me and Charlie were in bed, I was talking to him about how I really wanted a cake. So I may go to Asda and pick up the Betty Crocker cake mix because apparently if you put that with a can of Coke, it's not only vegan, but it's so much easier. My timer is about to go off to pump some more milk. So once I've done that, I think I'm gonna head over to Asda. For a moment, I actually forgot why I came here. Betty Crocker. I think I'm gonna get some vegan chocolate to go on top because I don't think the icing is vegan, but I don't know what to get. Ooh, let's get a cup of chocolate orange bars. I'm not actually sure if you can use Coke Zero, so I'm just gonna get normal Coke just in case it doesn't work. I don't even know if this bowl is a bowl. It might be a dish. It basically just says to like empty the packaging into the bowl and then put the can of Coke in there and whisk it, which is pretty convenient to me. Oh my god, I'm gonna This is why you use scissors. <laughs> Look at that. Just. Why am I like this? I don't understand. I truly don't understand. I'll get that off in a minute. I can't be able to deal with it right now. I care about the cake too much. A sip of this coke because i never drink full fat coke oh pure sugar do i add the whole thing 
the one I just have. I think you need an electric need an electric whisk to do this. This needs to be doing the job though. Who needs machinery? I'm not gonna lie, if this works, we have a problem. Serves 12! Serves 12. Is that a joke? Serves me. This has potential. And I think this whisk has actually done it. I don't have any grease proof paper. Oh well. I actually think I just shat a brick. Um, so there was a guy at the door and the knock sounded like Alfie's dad's knock. You know when you just know people's knocks? That's who I thought it was. It wasn't. It was a letter for Alfie and my neighbour had opened it by accident and brought it round and I was like, oh my god. I, I don't know what it was. I was just, it's just anxiety, okay? I had like a mini panic attack. But anyway, this is his allergy referral. Because if you have seen my TikTok, Alfie is allergic to egg, so they've referred him to like an allergy clinic, I think, to get some testing done. So yeah, that's good. Don't actually have a tin or baking paper. Baking tray paper? I don't know. Use this really old one. Use this glass tin here. I'm gonna use this one, even though it's like, I'm pretty sure it's for lasagnas. I'm gonna oil it, which you shouldn't do, but we break the rules so I'm just gonna put it in she's looking nice and thick which is a good sign right very hot it worked mm. that is so good could actually eat that whole thing this is my shopping haul great cheese avocado did you get one too one. Avocado. Oh, pulled it out the bag, literally. Gelatinous. Mm. These were actually already in the basket when I take two, so I saw them and I was like, Daisy's mm. gonna want those. And obviously these that are open. <laughs> Give it a taste test. Mm. We're gonna be really nice though with um the fact that I just sit there talking and I have chocolate around my mouth. It's infuriating. It's just infuriating as nachos rather than Doritos, and you got the Doritos dip, so it's a win win. And a coffee for the morning. <laughs> Drink it now. This concludes the Charlie's section of what's in his bag. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed. Our cake's in the oven. <laughs> it says on the pack, serves 12. I looked at him. So it serves you. Li I literally said that. I said that exact thing. I'm yeah. starving. Can we eat? Well, we need to cook there. Oh, I didn't get courgette or onion. Oh. It's, what's the top flavour? Tastes like orange. Yeah, I've got the chocolate orange on the top. Mm. Good? Mm. Nice. Some ice cream. Please drop some. Maybe. On a plate. No, she can't have it. It's chocolate. She's alright. No, she's not. <laughs> that would be nice when it's cool. Chilled. Like, serve it with a bit of ice cream. Mm. Like a brownie. Yeah. That would be nice. Mm. We definitely made the courgette too big. Stunning. I messed up the nachos because I put loads of cheese on it and then mm. didn't realise that we had to have cheese for the enchiladas. Do you want this? No, thank you. All yours. Thanks, Bob. Stunning work. Definitely I'm a one of our fave dinners. I am a chef. It's usually me that's the chef, thank you very much. I baked today. Charlie made the food. So my little Alfie bear is back now. You had a good day with daddy, didn't you? And your granddad. He went on the swing for the first time and apparently he really liked it. So I like hearing that he's had a good day, you know. So I'm going to put him to bed now and end this vlog here. Thank you so much for watching if you took your time to watch to the end. Please, please like this video and subscribe. I'm so grateful for anybody watching this right now. So thank you so much. Hope everybody has a good week. Bye.